When the 2015 World Golf Hall of Fame inductees were announced, one name took no one by surprise. I'm proud of Mark O'Meara. I mean, I've been lobbying for that guy to be in the Hall of Fame. Very, very happy for Mark. Long overdue. If you look at the body of work that Mark O'Meara did, that it, uh, is pretty spectacular. A real ambassador for the game, has been fantastic for the game. He's two majors in when he was 41 years old, and to win the Open and the Masters in the same year. And all I can say about Mark O'Meara is well overdue. It's a dream come true. I was driving my truck and I saw my phone start to vibrate a little bit and I looked over and I saw Tim Fincham's name come up and I thought to myself, I, I never get calls from Tim Fincham and I don't believe I'd done anything wrong, but I thought, you know, maybe, just maybe, this is the call that I've been waiting for. And sure enough, I answered the call and, and Tim was, was very gracious. He, he explained to me about the changes that they're making for the hall. And then he also said the induction ceremony is gonna be at St. Andrews next year on Monday of the Open Championship. And I thought to myself, wow, that's amazing, Tim. And he goes, no, what's amazing is, you know, you're in. You're the first call that, that we're making. And I was blown away. I mean, I, I got very emotional. The Hall of Fame is the World Golf Hall of Fame. It is an honor that honors all the global players. Golf's a global game. It's not just a single country game. And when I won the Australian Masters on Sunday, I played with David Graham. And to know that I'm going to be honored and elected into the Hall of Fame the same time that David Graham goes in is even making it more special.